Battle of Shongtsai was a series of clashes fought between the nationalists and the communists during Chinese Civil War in the post-World War II era, and resulted in the communist victory. The battle is also called the blockade at Shongtsai by the communists, who launched the battle to support their Eastern Henan campaign, with intention to prevent the nationalist force from reinforcing their comrades fighting the Eastern Henan campaign. Chapter 1, Prelude During the first half of the Chinese Civil War, communists lacked the necessary weaponry to destroy large formations of nationalist troops who were stationed in fortifications, so they must be lowered out of the fortifications and engaged in the open field where communists would have a chance, and one of such occasion rose in June 1948. On June 15, 1948, communists had decided to launch Eastern Henan campaign to attack Kaifeng, thus forcing the nationalists to reinforce the defense of the city via redeployment. Communists planned to take the opportunity to destroy the nationalist reinforcement force while it was on the move. Chapter 2 Order of Battle Nationalists' Order of Battle Army sized 11th reorganized division commanded by Hu Lin. Three division sized brigades communists order of battle. 10th column commanded by Song Shilin. 28th division. 29th division commanded by Xiao Feng political commissar Li Mengqun. Brigade sized 85th regiment. Brigade sized 86th regiment. Brigade Sized 87th Regiment Chapter 3, Strategies Communist Strategy The Nationalist 11th Reorganized Division was already on its northern march toward Kaifeng, to prevent it from reinforcing Nationalist force defending the city, the Communist Commander Song Shilin decided to attack Shongsai, where the Nationalist 11th Reorganized Division set up its headquarters, thus forcing the Nationalist Division to return to save its own headquarters. Nationalist Strategy Hu Lin, the Nationalist Commander of the 11th Reorganized Division was well aware the Communist Strategy, and adjust his plan accordingly. Giving up the mission to reinforce Kaifeng, Hu Lin ordered all of his force to turn back, and planned to use his headquarters as a bait to attract the enemy, while his main force would attack the enemy from the other side, destroying the enemy in a two fronts assault. Though this move would mean that he had to give up the rescue of the city exactly as his enemy had hoped, it was a good price to pay in exchange of totally destroying the enemy's tenth column. Chapter 4 Battle In the morning of June 16, 1948, Song Shilin's 10th column at Leave County and Dancing Sun in western Henan received order to reach north of Shongtsai and be ready for the incoming battle no later than 9 a.m. next morning. When the 28th and the 29th divisions of the Communist 10th column were ready to move out, it was already 2 p.m. on June 16, 1948. To travel to their destination in 17 hours at 90 kilometers away, many Communist troops were forced to sleep while on the move. To ensure the timely arrival and preparation, the communist commander himself and his chief of staff Gong Zhuo traveled with the 29th Division, and the communist troops reached their destination on time. The communists began their attack on the town of Shongtsai after taking a short break, with the three regiments of the 29th Division shouldered the main responsibility of attacking the nationalist headquarters, the 85th Regiment attacked the regions of Single Hamlet, and little village to the north of the town after taking regions including Wheat Store, and Plum Hamlet, the 86th Regiment attacked and took the region's western flood bridge, Lu Bridge, Kudzu Hamlet, Sloped Jiao Village. Of the 87th Regiment attacked and took the regions of Dong Hamlet, and Wan Lu. By the night of June 17, 1948, all of the dispatched units of the Nationalist 11th Reorganized Division, had turned back to rescue the headquarters at Shongsai, and much heavier fighting was expected by both sides. The only way to return to Shongsai was via the narrow strip of land beginning at the eastern flood bridge in the east and ended at the wheat store in the west. The local rugged terrain, however, was ill-suited for the highly mechanized nationalist force, and this was exploited by the communists to the maximum. At 8 a.m. on June 18, 1948, 
The Nationalist 11th Reorganized Division launched its all-out attack on the Communists but the progress was painfully slow due to the unfavorable terrain. After eight hours of continuous fighting, the Nationalist offensive stopped and both sides rested and prepared for the next round of fighting. By 10 p.m., the Communists withdrew to the second line of the defense by redeploying their 28th Division to the regions of Fan Hamlet, Luo Pavilion, Jiang Hamlet, Chiao Slope, and their 29th Division to the regions of King's Pavilion, Zayadi Pass, Hundred Feet Village, and Thunder Hamlet. Fierce fighting resumed and continued to the next day. After suffering 5,000 casualties and realizing the rugged terrain had severely limited the effectiveness of the superior firepower, the nationalist commander refused to be drawn into a war of attrition anymore in a terrain favoring the enemy and decided to call it a quit. Since turning back to reinforce Kaifeng was too late to do, the nationalists withdrew southward, abandoning the hope of annihilating the communist 10th column. The communists, in the meantime, successfully achieving their original objective of preventing the nationalists from reinforce Kaifeng, did not pursue and ended the battle.